Hey, what is up everybody? It is Gambado. Zach from Gambado, and it's been a long time, brothers and sisters. Uh, I haven't recorded in quite some time just due to uh, personal life stuff, and uh, my microphone was pretty uh, fucking awful. Uh, but I got a, recently got a new micro arm and an XLR cable, so uh, my voiceovers won't sound like fucking trash. Um, I expect to do more videos now that I have this set up. Um, but today we're going to do a more candid, uh, less, more, uh, fuck it, a more lazy fucking video. Um, I'm going to be honest, a more lazy video because uh, I didn't feel like setting up my camera or anything. Uh, we're going to talk about the PS5 event that happened earlier today for me possibly yesterday if you're watching this um when it comes out we're gonna mostly talk about the games and the system itself that were announced uh, i'm gonna try to highlight most of everything they showed i have a a rough list bulleted list of stuff they showed i just want to give my opinions on it i know a lot of people have uh Subscribe to me since the last time I uploaded, and uploads have been sparse, but hopefully this will uh, get my ass to record more videos. Again, this is more of a candid type beat. Candid beat? Candace, Candace beat fit in your dick? Candace beat fit in my ass? So they started the show with a Rockstar logo? Sorry, they... Is that what this... They started the show with some stupid shit, and then it went to the Rockstar logo. That's where I remember it starting, anyway. Fucking anything else could happen before that. Uh, and we got an announcement of Grand Theft Auto 5 and GTA 5 online on PS5. Um, gotta be honest, when they showed the Rockstar logo, I pissed myself just a tiny bit. Um, I was. I was not expecting GTA 6 or anything, but when I saw the logo and. You want to open an event like this really strong. I saw the Rockstar logo and immediately my mind went to GTA 6. Like I, I assume a lot of people did. I saw it trending on Twitter earlier today. I didn't click on it. I didn't read into it or anything. But I assume a lot of people thought GTA 6. Um, but no, this is Grand Theft Auto 5 being ported. It's the second Skyrim, baby. Uh, this thing's been on PS3, PS4, and now PS5. Uh, along with all the other consoles is on. Let's get us Nintendo Switch port of Grand Theft Auto 4 while we're at it. I don't fucking know. Uh, this is, this is, I guess, dude. I don't, it, it should be like 20 bucks. They're gonna resell it at full price. It's, it's the same as in fucking September when we get a Skyrim, Todd Howard's Scrotum Edition for the PS5. Like, it, it's to be expected. It's just crazy to think this thing came out in 2013 and we're still getting a full price copy of it in 20, Jesus, 2020, dude. I was about to say something in the teens. Shit's, shit's crazy right now, bruh. Um, and we'll also be getting Grand Theft Auto Online for PS5 as well. That's good news for some people. Uh, that game sells like crazy, so that makes sense. Uh, I think next we had Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales Edition. The Black Man Edition. <laughs> um, I'm excited for this. I, I actually really like Miles Part in the original spider-man game uh they didn't have too much to show off here gameplay wise i think it was just a cin cinematic um when i first saw it i thought it was gonna be a flash game because he had a little tingles coming off of his hands but um i'm excited to see a at least a cinematic from the spider-man team and i'm excited it's miles morales i'm hoping they continue with the a little spoilers for the first spider-man if you uh, want to miss out on that there'll be a time code on the screen but at the end of that they teased at uh harry osborn being venom in this spider-man universe i hope they really delve into that in the second one i think playing as miles morales will uh add a different depth to it um there will also be an interesting story as to what happened with the original spider-man um but yeah i'm very excited for this game i'm a little worried they're gonna do an infamous first light thing with this if you remember back on uh, the PS4's launch, <laughs> we're talking about PS5, but now we're talking about PS4, um, Infamous Second Sun came out, then First Light came out as a DLC kind of, uh, separate game on its own, but it was a smaller project, about five, six hours, um, when I first saw this, this, this was my thought of what this would be, but 
as we're going on and through the day it seems like it's going to be more and more of a sequel rather than that which i would prefer a sequel not just a small dlc project they had planned for the first one moving right along we have project athea project Pro project urethra and this game i believe was one of the ones they didn't show a lot of gameplay for uh, very little um this is the one where they showcased like these huge monsters there's very little gameplay for this it looked interesting enough for what it was um it was more there for showing off the tech of the ps5 um but i will be interested in staying tuned with this game in the future i think that's a stupid name as well by the way ratchet and clank rift apart uh this is a very interesting way of showing off the ps5's tech and uh more specifically the ps5's ssd which there's been a lot of talk about over the past few months you know xbox got technically better visuals but ps5's got the uh impressive ssd built into it and uh this was showcasing that today with the load times uh going into the event i said there the jump from ps3 to ps4 was immaculate it was crazy it was like a new fucking generation of gaming uh this one visually is gonna look pretty similar to the ps4 generation just because of the way it uh we're, we're getting there's a there's a there's no glass ceiling here we're gonna get to a point where uh it's just gonna max out and it's gonna look as good as it can and i think we're starting to see that a little bit but with the introduce introducing with the introducing of uh ssd and ray tracing it it's it, it will still feel next gen and i got that from the ratchet clank rift apart gameplay sequence it's obvious this game is pretty much almost done uh, ready for ps5 it could be even be a launch game i don't know if they had a launch date available but the gameplay shown for ratchet and clank rift apart showed um zero loading well all right very little loading in between huge worlds like uh this is if hey in super mario odyssey you jump into a painting uh, you come out the other end seamlessly. No loading times, nothing. Uh, you hop in your Odyssey, you fly to another planet, you're there immediately. Uh, this thing, the portal aspect rifts they were talking about in this, um, was very impressive. And I think Sony really knew to show extended gameplay of this, to show that this isn't just a tech demo. You can't say this is a tech demo. You can't say this is visuals. This is straight gameplay. And uh, it's, it's very exciting to see. And fucking clinks um reflective now or more reflective because of ray tracing uh next we had a game that i was confused about until the very end and that is stray it is a cat game and i'm a fan of cats you could say i got two of my own um this looked visually pleasing there was no gameplay shown but uh i'm excited to follow this game returnal i don't remember what that was to be honest Oh, that was the one. So there, there was two on here that I think might have been the the main writer on the Dead Space team was had a game showcased here. I think it was either Eternal or Pragmata. I think it might have been Pragmata or Eternal. So there was a rumor that the Dead Space writer was working. <coughs> on a new game and it would be showcased here. I, I haven't researched anything. I'm, I'm doing this video pretty soon after the event itself. Um, Return will look pretty cool. It's got a cool concept, kind of like Edge of Tomorrow or <laughs> Groundhog's Day. Um, it'll be interesting to see actual extended gameplay of the game. I think they showed a few clips here and there. Kena Bridge of Spirits. This was the one that kind of looked like the little tree people from breath of the wild you're collecting those a visually a very beautiful game it looked very interesting um and they showed off a few little bits of gameplay again a new ip so it's hard to get super excited about this but uh i'll be interested in seeing where this one goes goodbye volcano high this was the one that really made me lose hope <laughs> um no disrespect to any doves or anything holy fuck uh you couldn't have shown me a more least interesting game um completely missed the mark of this event i think 
and I know Sony's trying to feed into the pushed up glasses high waisted Capri wearing Karen types you know they're trying to uh they're trying to appease to a certain audience and it apparently worked uh listen the art style's fine but the the character models the the story it's it's <laughs> see i don't know what to say and what not to say i'm just gonna say uh not interested <laughs> goodbye Va volcano high is it, it looks like a like a one of those story based games like it's, a, it's more of a visual novel type game um and it's, it's furries, dude. It's fucking furries. I just... I don't know how this is mainstream, no. Honestly. Like, you do you, but... Fuck, man. What the fuck? Ah, uh, this shit was... I had to endure this, bro. Why, why, why in the front stage? Like, let it come out. This is on a similar wavelength. Why a dating sim? It kind of got that feeling. Maybe a visual novel type game. Like, I'm mad at it because it's furry shit, but I'm also mad at it because it shouldn't have gotten front stage. Um, that's like if Dream Daddy got his front stage or some weird shit like that, you know? Uh, but Sony's gonna do what Sony does. Uh, next, we had an Oddworld announcement, Soulstorm. This looked pretty cool. I was never that into Oddworld, but I know a lot of people are, so it was cool to see another game um, in the franchise. It was a weird pick to show off for the PS5 event. Um, just due to the the game looks good but it's not a technical masterpiece or anything uh next we had ghostwire tokyo which was that game everybody creamed themselves over sorry the the announcer they creamed themselves over at e3 2019 it was at the bethesda showcase the little little asian boy not boy little asian girl came out and went he ha hoo ha ha he 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 and everybody went holy shit she's cute and uh probably sold this game 20 million copies before it even came out so we actually saw gameplay for it today it looks pretty interesting a little odd but uh i'm pretty hyped for it jet the far shore i don't know what i don't remember what that was obviously it didn't really make an impact on me because i don't give a shit to remember it uh, next we had Godfall. This was one of the only confirmed games by Gearbox on the PS5. PS5 exclusive, I'm pretty sure. Looked like trash. The trailer was trash. Uh, the music didn't go with the game at all. The trailer, the, the game looks like a decent mobile phone game at most. Uh, I'm really not impressed with this game at all. I, I, I don't think it'll do that well. I'm looking at this as the Rise Son of Sparta to the xbox one as godfall is to the ps5 like it's gonna come out nobody's gonna give a shit um it'll probably be a day one uh launch game but fuck if i pick it up bro next we had a sweaty dude showing playing basketball for nba 2k 21 it was nice to see his sweat um gran turismo 7 was showing off pretty early in the show that's always a a good thing i had correct me if i'm wrong but i don't remember gran turismo on ps4 um so it's good to see this uh, coming back for ps5 pragmata that's again i think that's one of the space games they showed could be the dead space dude i don't do my research here obviously but um that was the one with the little girl and the dude in space suit kind of looked like dust stranding kojima productions logo ish um that one looked pretty cool let's see we got solar ash um, that was by the Hyperlife Drifters, Hi Hyperlight Drifter devs, um, no gameplay really, so what can you really say about that? Sackboy Big Adventure, this is, uh, Sony's answer to <laughs> Super Mario 3D World, which I don't think anybody wanted an answer to, but it looks cool, it looks like a fun time, you could play up to four people, and it's, it, it's, it's good to see Sackboy back, um, it's not Media Molecule doing it, it is sumo games which i believe they were the ones behind little big planet 3 which made that one suck dick so i'm a bit worried about them being behind it but i think since it's a new new type of ip not ip but a new type of game rather than a traditional little big planet game uh i have faith and what they showed they showed an extended gameplay so this this one's also pretty much probably pretty close to being finished maybe even a launch title uh it looks like a good time maybe like a 40 dollar budget title but they will probably release it for 60. Knowing Sony, 
Destruction All Stars. Um, this one looked like Rocket League and Overwatch mixed, and kind of made me want to load a chamber and uh, put it in my mouth. Uh, the gameplay looked fun, but if somebody walked in on me playing this, I think I'd be pretty embarrassed. Let's see, we got our Demon Souls remake announcement. Um, I know a lot of people are excited about that. I've actually been going through the Souls games recently with Dark Souls Remastered. Um, I need to finish that up. And uh, I'm a huge dude who's into those games but never finishes them. Like, you know how people are like, yo, I'm so into Souls games, but they actually finished them. So uh, this one's cool. It'll bring a new audience to the game because the original, I think, was a PS3 exclusive. And fuck all if they can get those running anymore. Those games running off of a PS3. So the remake's good to see here. And it looks like they're doing a good job with it. I would have rather uh, Bloodborne 2 or the Rings of whatever fucking game that was. Um, they had announced, I think, at E3 last year. I would have rather th see those, but I know Demon Souls remake has a fan base, and I'll definitely be looking forward to playing it for the first time, as it was their first game. Uh, probably one of my favorite announcements here, um, one of my most hyped announcements, is Resident Evil 8 Village. Resident Evil Village. Um, talk about a game I didn't know what it was till it fucking showed up. Uh, I went back and forth from. The Forest 2, Resident Evil, Silent Hills. I, I was all over the place with this one while it's playing out. Uh, it looks very unique. It looks like it has influence from Resident Evil 4. There's a whole Reddit thread, I think, of people. Like, a lot of this information was quote unquote leaked, but also, like, questionably leaked. Um, but a lot of it turned out to be true. So, if you want to read more about Resident Evil 8, I would recommend going there. Reading up on it, I'm very hyped for this game said early 2021 i think so this won't quite reach the launch window and as obviously i don't think it's going to be a playstation exclusive uh so this was very exciting to see there was rumors about it being here um but it over silent hills i don't know if i would have preferred silent hills or the silent hill rumored remake or uh sony's acquisition of silent hills or anything like that uh that's up in the air still they, none of that was showed but at least we got something here and that was resident evil 8 bug snacks made me want to fucking set myself on fire uh we got a hitman 3 announcement this is gonna end off the world assassination trilogy i enjoyed the first two enough but uh i'm more of a non-episodic hitman guy myself so um the announcement of this didn't really get my jollies off uh a surprise indie game that caught my eye. There was a lot of indie shit here, and uh, none of it really gave me a good goose goose tickle. Besides Little Devil Inside, because they showed extended gameplay, and the gameplay looked unique enough, and the art style looked super unique, and uh, it looks—it just looks like a fucking fun game, bro. Uh, you get melee, you get a little gun. The art style, like I said, is super unique uh, which is hard to do nowadays especially with independent titles uh, so little devil inside looks pretty fucking dope um, I'll be excited to play that on ps5 I can't imagine they can't get that running on ps4 so I don't think that'll be a exclusive to ps5 or anything or even to the Sony family but uh, that's exciting to see here and it's definitely caught my eye um, next we have death loop from the dudes who made Dishonored, Arcane Studios under Bethesda. This game looks actually really fucking dope. Um, and that is coming from somebody who really, 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 really fucking tried to get into Dishonored and just fucking couldn't. Uh, those games, I don't know what it is about it. It's the pacing, it's the gameplay, something about it. Um, I really couldn't get into either of those games. I own both of them. I tried to play, I started them up 50 fucking times each. Um, but this, this one looks more akin to Wolfenstein, other Bethesda first-person shooters. Um, and I, I, I think I'll I'll enjoy it. The concept's really cool. I think the story will be really cool. Um, and it even maybe teased a little multiplayer in the end, a little competitive multiplayer, because the story is has to do with uh, dual assassins. So that's pretty exciting. And then we had an announcement for Astro's Playroom. This was the, I think this was the mascot for PSVR or the, the tech demo dude for PSVR. He had the Astro, Astrobot mission. Um, 
this was i guess a thing um i don't care too much about it but probably if not resident evil 8 but or marvel spider-man i'm i'm excited that there's a new spider-man but there's no gameplay so i can't be that excited about it um horizon zero dawn 2 or better known as horizon forbidden west um i'm very excited about this actually last year just played horizon zero dawn beat it for the first time and on my first playthrough i platinum it which was my second platinum ever for the first being modern warfare 2 on the ps3 back in like 2010 or something whenever that game came out so this was a big deal um that game was amazing and i had a great time platinuming it and uh, I was just, I was on the edge of my seat for a new announcement. They've been rumoring it for a while with the first game movie of the PC. Everybody was wondering when the second one was going to be announced. I think this is a great way to announce it. Um, they didn't show any gameplay as far as I know. If they did, it was mixed in with a lot of uh, CG cutscenes and stuff. But um, I have faith that they'll do a good job with it. Um, the world looks really interesting. Um, I like how it's, it seems time has passed a decent bit to where um, they're kind of more in the Stone Age era now. You got the robotic mammoths and stuff, and I'm excited to hop back in that world, especially on PlayStation 5. So that was all the major announcements. I'm sure I missed a few here and there, but obviously I didn't care enough to remember or even look at. So... Let's move on to the system. They showed off the system itself. Um, and I w honestly, near the end, I wasn't expecting them to show off the system at all. Uh, they, they even teased the UI a little bit, which uh, was pretty cool. I cannot wait to see the UI. I think, I'm, I think I'm more excited for the UI than I am the fucking system itself. Um, just due to like how refined the trophies are. I've been really into trophy collecting recently pretty excited about that but the overall design of the ps5 looks pretty fucking good i don't know what i was expecting but let me pull up a picture the ps5 and the ps5 digital version i think the digital looks better than the uh normal ps5 with the disc drive just because the disc drive looks like a weird tumor um but i i i think both of them look decently pretty good uh i usually lay my systems on the side and they mainly show the system standing up every make everybody's making the meme the dead meme already of it looking like a router um i definitely like this design way more than the weird ass alarm clock design people were originally uh throwing out there as concept art um i think it looks in line with what sony would do they're not too crazy um the, f the weird flaps look weird and i i assume they're gonna um those will be gone in the fucking ps5 pro or the ps5 slim or something those will definitely be gone because i i can imagine some integral issues with those um in the first few years but overall the system looks what you'd expect from a sony system um they even showed off a few headphones and accessories you can have with the ps5 we didn't get a price which is pretty annoying and I learned recently that I don't think Xbox has announced a price either, so it's kind of a waiting game for both of those. Uh, this was exciting news to at least see the system. I honestly wasn't expecting to see it today, so uh, it's pretty exciting. And yeah, uh, the overall white design, I wasn't actually expecting, but it makes sense due to the controller's main uh, color scheme being white. So. Uh, I don't mind it. I think it looks aesthetically pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, that was the PS5 event. Um, that was my thoughts on it. I I don't know if I expected too much more than they gave just due to the fact that a lot of Sony's major first parties are releasing games in the next couple months here to round off the PS4. Uh, we got Naughty Dog's Last of Us 2, which I'm gonna, oh my God, I, I'm so excited for that. Uh, and then Ghost of Tsushima from Sucker Punch. I love what Sucker Punch did with Infamous. Um, so I'm very excited for that as well. And those will also be playable on PS5. Um, so yeah, I wasn't expecting too much. And from what I got, I was pretty happy. Again, this isn't the end of PS5 news. If anything, it's the beginning of official news. And uh, we can expect more. And uh, most, probably most soonish august maybe even july but probably august we'll get some ui announcements and maybe even some more games 
but yeah, um, like I said at the top, I will be trying to do more uh, videos since I have a proper setup now. But uh, let me know what you guys think about the video, and uh, I will see you guys in a more more edited video, less less lazy, less laid back video than this. Um, I just want to get my thoughts out there because this is a pretty big event, and uh, I've been following PS5 news for a while, and I'm. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, everything was to par from what I expected, and uh, a few surprises here and there. Never hurt anybody. So uh, stay tuned here. Thanks for everybody who's subscribed recently, and uh, I hope you guys stay tuned with me to my next video. Thanks for watching, haters.